First thing I'd like to say is I'm glad to finally uh, be here uh, at Fort Greeley, uh, especially early in my command. The uh, ribbon cutting ceremony was the driver of me getting here early, and I'm very glad that it worked out that way because you really can't appreciate this installation unless you actually come here in person, and I've gotten to witness that over the past couple of days. Yeah, so uh, my leadership philosophy and my one team concept really intertwines together because my leadership philosophy is focused on building teams based on trust and building that one team concept uh, across the several commands as highlighted, Space and Missile Defense Command, also I have the JIFIC IMD Command, and my role as the uh, Senior Installation Commander at Fort Greeley and Kwajalein. As you can uh, see, we're spread across the globe in this command, and building a one-team concept essentially brings the team together, focuses on how we have a, everybody has a important job to do inside of this organization to be able to execute what we're doing inside of this critical command. And so doing it in a one-team concept built on trust is, is how I focus moving forward and intertwines with my leadership philosophy also. Yeah, so uh, implementing the, and instilling the values, core values that my parents uh, instilled in me as a young uh, kid growing up in a military environment. My dad was in the military, so I grew up in a military environment. He had high expectations. Him and my mother uh, both had high expectations and demanded uh, excellence. And so that was instilled in me at a young age, uh, living through the uh, military environment. I think it, it's already being embraced. Uh, you know, just the uh, simple phrase, rugged professionals, I see it everywhere, and it really encapsulate really that striving for excellence in everything you do uh, and that mentality of a rugged professional all kind of intertwines together in my opinion. So I believe it's already happening, uh, and, and, and I will continue to drive that across the command. Uh, one team of uh, professionals striving for excellence in everything we do, and I think that already fits inside of this community. Yeah, the Garrison's unique mission in supporting the uh, strategic importance of Fort Greeley is critical. Uh, the, what we're asked to do uh, at Fort Greeley with the uh, GMD mission, being able to defend against uh, IBCMs is a truly critical mission to the homeland. And everything that the garrison does to support that mission set, to provide uh, support to the uh, active mission set is, is, is critical. Everybody has a inc critical role uh, inside of uh, this organization, and it's critical that the support is there so we're able to execute that mission of importance, strategic mission of importance. Yeah, I, I think I described it a little bit uh, as I was articulating about the critical mission of the strategic uh, GMD mission here on Greeley. Uh, I, I'm not so sure uh, across uh, the nation, people really understand the criticality uh, of this mission set, and you know, one of the things I'm going to do is continue to highlight the importance of that mission set. And Team Greeley working together uh, to provide an infrastructure that supports uh, the soldiers that man the equipment, that supports the uh, team on the site that executes that daily critical mission uh, is, is critically important. Just that the uh, one team, rugged professional concept uh, is a good concept. And, and, and I, I've already seen it, you know, so I've been uh, lurking around the uh, uh, post uh, all weekend uh, based off of how my travel came in. So I was able to go to the gym, the commissary, and see the facilities. And one of the things I noticed across the board was the warmth welcoming attitude of everybody here and you know and, and I'm not saying that just because I'm the commander of SMDC and people might see me as that no I was walking around in civilian clothes just bumping into people talking to people and everybody was extremely friendly so it's that 
team, small community atmosphere uh, that, that's critically important and, and, and that s providing support to everybody, you know, no matter who you are uh, and, and making it welcoming. So, you know, you got people here uh, in Alaska that, you know, some may have families, some may not have families uh, isolated uh, from where they're from and having that small town friendly welcoming uh, atmosphere is truly important. And, uh, you know, what I've also got to see is, is some of the uh, anemones being brought to Greeley, you know, like over at the ACAC, uh, the uh, Caribou Cafe, and some of those things being provided, knowing, you know, continually striving to find ways to listen to what's important uh, to the community and, and the insulation and the uh, garrison working with FMWR and providing uh, those anemones are, is truly important. And seeing it actually happen and having that warm, welcoming atmosphere, I think all together uh, builds uh, exactly what I would think is important uh, for this community.